This is the Union Pacific EMD SD70AH, and this is what won in the comments section of my last video of the Union Pacific SD70ACE. I asked what you guys wanted for the next SD70ACE troll, and a lot of you guys uh, picked this. CSX actually was very, very closely tied uh, with this, but you know, this one in the end, I said I would release the next SD70ACE troll. Uh, when the video reached 200 likes and you guys did it. It took a little more than three weeks to do So I'm gonna do that challenge again when this video reaches 200 likes I'll post the CSX SD70 ACE and if you guys do want the AH version of it instead Let me know in the comment section down below So the difference between the SD70 AH versus the regular SD70 ACE is this one complies with tier 4 regulations so they kind of like upgrade to uh, put less emissions and the actual physical differences they moved the headlight to the nose so it's like a nose mounted headlight and because they did that they had to move down this emblem logo here down a block so I just moved it down so you see they are not the same also took out that uh, top headlight right there since they moved it down but I still added a notch right there Moving down on the side here, I changed this into a spruce fence gate. I feel like that will be a little better color for gray. And then um, on the side here, there is a little window. I don't know why they added this, but there's a window here compared to the older one. And also here on the side, I changed some side detail as well. So you see that one is using basalt and this one I'm just using plain uh, cyan terracotta and then I put a button to the side. And I also changed this dark oak sign from it was a button before. Since I no longer need this 3D effect behind this warp slab uh, for this one, I was able to put back the windshield so it pops out a little more on this one. You can see the gray on top. Well, this one's kind of like flat, you know. And also another thing is I moved uh, this white quartz uh, block back like that compared to the other one. And it also did change the bottom of this. So you see the old one, there was like a stone brick wall over here. And I said in my last SC70 ACE tutorial that I moved it. So this is what the new design looks like. It's a block forward and I just replace it with a slab just so you can see through it. That is pretty much it for the differences between the SD70 ACE and the tier four version of it. And the reason why they call it an SD70 AH, the H stands for heavy. So this weighs a couple more tons so they can have more traction, but I don't know how much that will impact the railroad. Um, but anyways, let's get started. So since these two builds are very similar, I'm going to go off and modify the original Union Pacific SD70 ACE and change it to tier 4 standards. Alright, so once you have your original SD70 ACE, let's modify it. So what we'll do, we'll have to delete this uh, top mounted headlight. So delete that. Instead, we'll add in a stone brick slab with a gray carpet on top. Then right here on the nose, we'll delete this block here and delete this row of oak slabs. Then the front of the lapis, we'll move that one block towards the front like this. Top here, we'll add in yellow concrete. And we'll add in birch buttons, two blocks tall on this side. And the middle here, we'll add in an item frame with a white bed. Now I understand in bedrock, apparently this bed looks weird. So instead of that, you know, you could just use the smooth quartz that we did previously in our older designs. Then we'll add in this gray carpet on top. And we'll add in a warped slab in front of this TNT. Like that, very nice. And then to the sides, we're going to add in end rods right in front of these prismarine brick slabs. Or actually, it's just dark prismarine. And now, let's go here on the side. We'll change this basalt into a cyan terracotta. Add in a stone button on top. To the side, we'll add in a black stone button. And um, you actually don't need that right there. And then we'll move up to the back here. There's going to be that window. So punch a hole here. Punch that hole. And then add in a black concrete inside. And we'll need an oak stairs. So that's going to be upside down and facing towards the back. That. Then we'll add in a dark oak sign. So we'll just replace this button right over here with it. It looks like that. And now we're also going to move this smooth quartz slab just one block back. Like that. Put that oak slab back. And other side we'll do the same thing. 
moving that smooth quartz slot bit back like so. And we're also going to change up this bottom fence gate into a spruce fence gate. So I just want to make it look more gray. And the front will do the same exact thing. So do it like that. Then we'll go back into the front and because we don't need this 3D effect over here on the top, now we can have uh, the front windshield so it pops out more. So delete these three carpets, delete the blocks underneath, and now we'll add in a row of say in terracotta. And then add in a gray glass pane in the middle and black glass pane on the sides of it like so. We're also going to go down over here where the trucks are, uh, right next to the fuel tank, and we're going to have to delete this wall here. And we're going to move it one block towards the front. And in its place, we'll add in a stone brick slab like that. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Just move this stone brick wall block forward and replace it with a stone brick slab. And we'll do the same thing in the back section. And over here, just to make things a little more airy here, like so. All right, so that's pretty much it on how to make the Union Pacific EMD SD70AH in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, remember to hit that like button down below. I will post the next uh, SD70ACE tutorial uh, when this video reaches 200 likes, probably going to be the CSX one. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to get notified on future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.